think there are a number of challenges in terms of um, designing and delivering better treatments for people with progressive MS. I think the first really big challenge is to understand the core cellular biology um, which underpins progressive MS. Um, and we really at this stage don't understand the spectrum of insults within the brain of people with progressive MS. And if we don't understand the cellular target, we're actually going to have trouble um, really identifying appropriate therapies for people with progressive MS. And what I mean here is that I think progressive MS is probably not one thing. It's actually a heterogeneity or a combination of things. And we've got to be better at understanding for any particular person what actually are the drivers which have led to them having progressive MS and significant disability. And I don't think it's going to be the same thing for everybody. People usually ask, when's the cure? Um, and that's a difficult question because there's no simple answer to it at the moment. And I think it has to be broken down as well because um, cure means different things to different people. The person who might be predisposed to MS, the cure is basically to stop that predisposition in its tracks. For the person with relapsing or emitting MS, cure is hopefully turning off relapses for them and that's potentially attainable now. For the person with progressive MS, there are really two goals that we need to think about. The first is to actually stop the progression and the second is to repair the damaged nervous system. I think that we need to think about them in different ways and I think it is tiered and it is iterative. I think we have realistic potential to be able to turn the disease off.